Welcome to Nananka Prince Virtual Exhibit. I am Nan and I am sitting in my home studio. Uh, this is in the downstairs of our house. It's also our guest room, so you'll see uh, a bed. Um, and we are in Grand Marais, Minnesota. There's still snow on the ground. And I hope that you are at your house and have a beverage in hand as I would like to show you some of my newest artwork. As many of you know, I uh, was supposed to have a exhibit, a solo exhibit at Johnson Heritage Post in Grand Marais opening tonight. Obviously that was canceled, so I thought I would host a little event so that you can see my newest body of work and hear me talk about it. Um, also all of the work that I will be talking about and that you will see will be on uh, Etsy right now. So if you like what um, I'm sharing, please head over to Etsy and purchase a print for yourself or for a friend or just take a look. I would like to now show you a little bit of my small home studio. So let's take a tour. So as you can see, uh, this is our, well, it's our guest room in the, in the basement of our house, but this is kind of my half of the room. Uh, to do all of my work here. Uh, so I have all of my inventory here and this is where I ship any of your orders um, that you make. And then I also just have lots of storage and things like that. Um, I store big sheets of paper to work with. Uh, and then over in this corner, I have all of my tools and supplies. So I would say that most of my artwork is made here. Um, an exception is the newest body of work that I am gonna show you today. I actually made a Grand Marais Art Colony in town here. It's a nonprofit um, that has studio rental space and they have a beautiful press. So I rented some space this winter um, and created all of the work that I'm sharing with you today. Uh, Prior to that, I made everything in my studio. So uh, I would print everything with my trusty wooden spoon um, and I did all of my printing and carving down here um, just in this nice little area and had all my supplies right here. So that's how I will be continuing to work um, since the art colony is currently closed due to COVID-19. Uh, please go and check them out. They are a wonderful resource for artists and people in the community. You can take classes um, and they would really appreciate your support during this time. So the first prints I would like to show you are what I consider the cornerstone of the exhibit I was going to put up at Johnson Heritage Post. Now, please understand that the exhibit was going to be about 60 prints. And so today you're just gonna see 12. Um, and they're all the newest ones. And the idea that I was working with for this exhibit was thinking about place and how place has shaped me and thinking about specific places that have influenced me, but also trying to figure out kind of what the unifying elements of those places are that transcend the actual place that I experience them and might relate to other landscapes or, or places that I've been. So the first series of prints that I made, um, what I call the cornerstone of this exhibit, uh, were made from one single wood block. So this is a wood block that I carved by hand um, and it's carved in a reductive style, which means I carved a little bit away, printed it, then carved more away, printed it, carved more away, printed it. And so this block has been through a press hundreds of times. Um, and this is all that remains of the block. So let's go over here and look at the three prints. So this is a triptych, a series of three prints. Um, you can purchase them separately if you would like one of them more than the others. Um, and the first one is Head Oak Hills. This one is waves and this one is fields. And again, they were all created from the same wood block and I created them kind of in an interwoven style. So I might have done the first layer of this one and then this one and then this one and carved something away, printed this one, carved something away, printed this one. And so they're very interconnected. Um, and the concept I was going for was um, representing 
these three places that are very important to me. Um, this one represents how I lived in the foothills of the Himalayas for five years. This one represents my love of northern Minnesota and working in the Boundary Waters and now living in Grand Marais. And this one represents my childhood um, home in Wisconsin. And so I wanted to unify those three distinct places through an abstraction of landscape, looking at pattern and color and trying to create three distinct landscapes using the same kind of design. One of these. Any rolls? I am. So you can see that each one has a different number of layers. Um, and again, these prints went through the press a number of times. Um, some of them more than others. I've lost track. Um, I think one of them went through the press five or six times. Um, but you can, you can start to see the different layers and how the lines are similar but might differ from print to print. Also of note, um, each image is printed on a different color of paper. After this series, I then decided to explore abstraction even more, and I thought about landscape from an aerial view. And so I decided to take each of these places, so hills, waves, and fields, and further abstract it. The first one that I did was fields. And again, I grew up in western Wisconsin, and so I looked at aerial maps of where I grew up. This is actually my, my childhood home is in this. Um, and I decided I wanted to abstract uh, the landscape into the patterns of fields and um, properties. And so this is all based off of aerial photography, and then I decided to um, use the color palettes of the seasons. So I have spring, summer, fall, and winter. Um, and these, like the other triptych, uh, you can purchase this as a set or you can purchase one or two individually. Um, but if you're curious, this is my childhood home right there. So I have walked all of these different um, properties and streams and forests and roads. They're all very um, dear to me and remind me, brought me back to so many memories of growing up in the fields. Uh, and I know that also people who didn't grow up there, this is a very familiar view from an airplane, or maybe it reminds you of a textile or a quilt. And that is, that is my hope, is that even though it's a specific place to me, it might transcend um, and remind you of something close to you. After creating the uh, field series, I decided to then explore the hills or the mountains and the waves. Um, and so the hills came very easy to me. Um, living in the foothills of the Himalayas, I also looked at aerial photography and found the hillside that I lived on um, and abstracted it into more of a pattern. And so this series, or this pair, not really a series, um, I did the same image in two different colorways. So maybe one of them speaks more to you. Um, but my little house in India was right down here and going north uh, went into the great Himalayas. So it's fun for me to see that landscape and be reminded of the geography. And for you, maybe it reminds you of a different place or a different time in your life. Next, I really struggled with this one um, and I'm happy with how it turned out. I was thinking about waves and I have done a lot of water in my artwork, but I wasn't sure how to really capture my connection to water, which is in a canoe. That's my preferred way of experiencing water. Um, and so I thought a lot about the path of a canoe and um, this is kind of an aerial perspective, but this is the water kind of coming from the back side of the canoe as it's traveling through flat water and then the dips of the paddles um, alternating. Uh, and this one is also available in two different colors. I thought about how um, I kind of love gray days on the water. So 
uh, more of a gray scale and then also a blue version of this print. The last artwork I have to share with you is called Ripples and it is again looking at pattern and kind of abstraction of water and nature and landscape or waterscape um, and it is uh, part of a longer series of work that I'm working on um, that is showing the horizon. And so actually the first series that you saw today has the same, the horizon line is at the same level. And I have other prints um, that also explore the horizon at that level. So this one reminds me of Lake Superior where we live here. And I hope that it reminds you of summer or the lakes that you enjoy. So before I wrap up, I want to first let you know how to purchase these. Go to Etsy. You can um, look at my website for a link or search Nan Anka. Uh, they are available right now. And each of these prints is a limited edition. So there's um, between six to 12 prints available in each of these. So if you really like one, I highly recommend that you go and uh, grab one now. Also, if you are local to Grand Marais, I'm happy to do a pickup if you don't want to pay for shipping. Um, you can just message me and we can arrange that. Uh, also, I have so many frames. Um, if you can imagine, I was planning for 60 prints to be hung this weekend at Johnson Heritage Post. I don't have that. Um, so I have about 50 more frames than what you see here. Um, most of them are in this kind of birch um, style. And then I also have some that are a darker style. So if you are a local person who would like a frame, whether it's for one of my prints or something else, uh, please message me and we can um, figure something out. Thank you so much for taking the time this evening and looking at my art and hearing what I have to say. I really, really appreciate it. Um, again, go on Etsy if you'd like to purchase one. Please go and support your local artists and local art nonprofits, um, especially Grand Marais Art Colony. They've been a huge support to me. Um, local businesses really need your support right now. So even if you aren't going to buy something from me, that's totally fine, but I hope that you uh, support someone um, who has a small business or a nonprofit this week and in the coming weeks. Thanks again for being here. Um, I really appreciate it.